In this video I will show you the Wappler way of creating dynamic tabs. My name is Ben Plesier and I am a fervent user of Wappler, just like most of you. I start, as usual, with a container, row and column. Inside the column I place the tabs component. Here we see that Wappler has created three tabs with three content areas. For our example, we need one tab that is repeated according to our dynamic data. So, I go ahead and remove the two other tabs. We also need just the one content area. You guessed it. Remove the other two content areas. I will now create a repeat area for the tabs. The problem now is, the ID of the link is going to be the same for all of the repeated tabs. This is not legal. I need to change the ID for each instance of the tab. To do this, I need to go into code view. The most generic way of doing this is to attach the index of the repeat to the ID. But because the index is dynamic, I need to make the ID dynamic by attaching an app connect binding to it. The binding is called DMX binding. I add this to the ID. Then I change the number one to dollar sign index. To make the value digestible for App Connect, I make a few more changes by adding single quotes and plus signs. Back in Design View, the time has come to add the data source. For this, I have borrowed the JSON file from the Wappler Dynamic Real Estate demo site. I have chosen the JSON file to make it easy on me. In your case, you would have your own data source in the form of a database table. I also need a data detail to single out the record that is called for. I can now bind the data source to the repeat region. Next, I bind the data to the tab label. I choose the title from the data source. We can see the change to the tabs when this is done. When the tab is clicked on, the tab content needs to display the wanted data. For this, I add a mouse on click event. This will select the current record. As a last step, I need to bind the content area to the chosen record. I delete the current text and replace it with my own text and a dynamic value. I have gone for a random value, I could have chosen another value or values. Testing the page shows the result. This is how easy it is to create dynamic tabs in Wappler. 
I hope this has been of benefit to you. I will produce more videos like this. If you subscribe, you will be notified of the next video. Thank you for watching.